So the first thing I'm going to show you now is how to treat the fabric if you do have a dye-based ink printer. This is Bubble Jet Set 2000 and it is the standard thing that most people use for, for this purpose. You can buy it in a quilting shop or there are lots of online suppliers too. I'm going to tell you how to use this a little bit differently than the instructions say. The instructions say shake well and then pour the solution into a flat pan. Saturate fabric in solution for five minutes. Allow fabric to dry. Iron fabric to the smooth side of freezer paper, etc., etc. And then it has instructions for, for after when you finish the, uh, the printing, how you're supposed to treat it. I uh, belong to a couple of different online discussion groups. One of them is especially for Bubble Jet Set. And one of the people on that group had a great suggestion. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. I just estimate at this point the size of the fabric. I want it to be bigger than the final because I'm going to trim it down. So I'm going to tear myself a couple of pieces of fabric. So now I have three pieces ready to go here. But you can do this particular method with um, with dozens of pieces. I'm going to put a piece of freezer paper down just to protect my table and take the first piece of fabric, pour a little bit of bubble jet set into a container, and brush it on. And after I've done the first one, I'm going to Put the second piece of fabric right on top and brush the bubble jet set onto that. So it will be soaking into the second piece, but it'll also be soaking into the first piece. And when you're finished, you have a stack of fabric that is all ready to go. And you've used very little bubble jet set compared to um, filling up a container and soaking everything in it and then having to to drip them dry. There has been a lot of discussion on that um, group about whether or not you can reuse Bubble Jet Set if you have put it into um, a container, soaked your fabric, and and then you have leftover bubble jet sets sitting uh, oxidizing in your open container. And there's been a lot of disagreement about it. So this, this saves all of that worry. You don't have to worry about whether or not it's still going to be good because you have only used um, a little bit. And the rest of it is still sitting here sealed up in your bottle. So I have three pieces of fabric here that have been soaked with Bubble Jet Set and I'm just going to tuck them aside right now. What I would normally do is go and hang them up on a line to dry. I have some pieces right here that I prepared earlier and what I want you to see is that I've marked each of them with a permanent pen and I just write BJS down in the corner because when they're dry there's no way for you to tell that this fabric has been treated. So you have to make sure to mark each piece so you know that this is a piece of fabric that is ready to go, ready to go onto the freezer paper and through your printer. You do have a choice. You can buy sheets that are already prepared for you. This is the one that's probably the easiest to find and the one that most people know about. There's um, a company called Color Textiles and they have Color Plus fabrics. One of the interesting things about them, it might not apply that much to quilting, but they also have sets of all different kinds of silk fabrics that are already prepared to print in your inkjet printer. So I'm going to print this flower on three pieces of fabric and then wash them out so that you can see the difference. The reason that I wanted to turn the flower red is that that's the color that's hardest to retain. It's the one that washes out the most easily. 
So this is the piece that was not treated with bubble jet set, but was printed with dye-based ink. And that shows you pretty well why you need to use bubble jet set when you are printing with dye-based ink. The blacks have a little bit of pigment in it in most of the dye-based ink printers, and so that's why you can still see the black. But the color has almost entirely washed out in just uh, a few seconds. This piece is the one that was printed on the, um, the fabric that was treated with bubble jet set and that I put onto freezer paper myself. I marked the corner BSJ so that I could tell which one it was that had been treated. So the instructions for bubble jet set say to wait 30 minutes after you print it and then to wash it um, with a mild detergent and they make their, their own brand but any mild detergent will do. So I'm just going to mix that up a bit. So here's the piece that I prepared and uh, put on to freezer paper. It's been pre-treated with bubble jet set and I'm going to put it into the water. We lost um, a little bit of dye there, but you can see that it really still has a lot of color and you can expect a little bit to wash out right at the beginning. The instructions for Color Plus fabrics say that you are supposed to use a fabric softener. You wait five minutes after you've printed your fabric. This piece of fabric is, um, is actually silk and it's a, a Color Plus fabric. The instructions are to put it face down into my water with the fabric softener and then count to 15. 14 and pull it up and not to let it um, uh, flop back on itself and then put it out on a, a piece of toweling and that should do it. That fabric should be ready to go then.